Hi, it's Dwyer. It's September 26, 2024. This is a premium video for members only. Middleweight Championship match between Janabek and Andre Mikhailovich taking place in Australia. Let's talk about it. This is for sophisticated gamblers who understand no risk it, no biscuit. Right, the odds right now are Janabek minus 1600. Mikhailovich plus 750. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I believe the play here is Andre Mikhailovich plus 750. He's fighting a boxer I consider to be one of the best champions in the sport of boxing. The hedge is Janabek by stoppage. Again, Mikhailovich plus 750 simply to win. That's a casino mispricing. The hedge is Janabek by stoppage. Both of these fighters are unbeaten. Let's talk about the challenger first. Understand, he has some things going for him. The casino seems to be overlooking, and when I say casino, we understand that it's really the betting market. The casino is just pricing the sentiment among bettors. I believe the bettors are overlooking the fact that John Abak, who's in his 30s, recently had problems making weight, and a fight had to be canceled. Right, folks, that's happened recently. That's why the fight here is in Australia. Right? John Abek, according to the public narrative, tried to cut weight and had problems doing so. Whenever that happens, for the fighter's next fight, you need to put a question mark by the fighter's name. Understand, too, that John Abek is fighting in Australia. He's fighting in Mikhailovich's backyard. Mikhailovich, of course, unbeaten fighter who's going to generate a crowd. Let's face it, too. Jean Abek, again, one of boxing's better champions in my eyes. Jean Abek, by the way, it feels like something's in my eye right now. We'll just work through this video. But understand, Jean Abek isn't popular anywhere. Folks, he's not popular in the United States. In the United Kingdom, which has Hamza Shiraz, Chris Eubank Jr., nobody is demanding that either of them fight Janabek. Right? And folks, those would be great fights. I would say the Janabek versus Shiraz fight is probably the best we can do at 160 pounds. But there's no outcry for it. So, Janabek is what I call a Marvin Hagler figure. This is a great champion. He's unbeaten as I make this video. Who, for whatever reason, has not captured the public imagination. Right? Hagler had to start fighting people like Thomas Hearns, Ray Leonard, right, to get the public imagination. And understand, Hagler was a guy who crossed the Atlantic to fight Alan Minter. That's how he got his title. Right? Well, Janabek, like Hagler, is willing to trade with you in the pocket. We'll get back to Janabek, who, like Hagler, fights out of a southpaw stance in a moment. But let's focus on Mikhailovich. A plus 750, folks, that's excessive. This guy is excellent on his front foot. This guy has a chopping overhand right. He likes to throw it from the bleachers. Chopping overhand right. He's a righty. And he has an excellent left hook. Folks, believe it or not, this challenger has one of the best left hooks in boxing. Right? So think of him as a young guy who does not have a lot of lateral movement. He wants to be pocket-centric with you. He's able to get off power shots from up close. He wants 
excellent athlete, excellent athlete, but he doesn't use his athleticism. He wants to be close enough to you where he can bump you and then throw a devastating left hook. He wants to bump you and then throw a devastating chopping right hand from up top. Right? That's his game. He's pocket-centric just like Janabek. He's going to bring the fight to Janabek. I see a couple of problems. Right? The first is that he's going to be right where Janabek wants him to be. Understand, Janabek doesn't look smooth. It doesn't look like his head is on a swivel. But this is the southpaw who has figured out the angles. Right, so Janabek has his head tucked. Right, Anthony Joshua supporters will barely recognize the sport here because this is the guy who has his head tucked has a shoulder in the way is already unorthodox different varieties since he's a southpaw he's hard to find with a straight right hand and he has one of the best straight lefts in the entire sport of boxing he's coming to knock you out now, the key to this fight, in my opinion, is the left leg of Mikhailovich, right? He needs to lean on it heavily to throw that chopping right hand. He needs to lean off of it and onto his back foot out of the same stance to throw that left to the body. Right? When he comes in, if Janabek is as advanced as I think he is, Janabek looking at film is going to understand this opponent sees himself as alpha. This is not the guy who's going to try to win the middleweight title against Janabek dancing away from him or circling him with lateral movement. That would be too different for Mikhailovich. Mikhailovich is going to be in front of him trying to land that left hook to the body, perhaps a left uppercut, right? Guys who throw left hooks to the body can adjust and throw left uppercuts, can throw overhand rights. That's Mikhailovich's game. Janabek's going to know when he's loading up on power shots just by his stance. If Mikhailovich comes in and if that front left leg is planted, Janabek is going to know when the punches are coming, right? This is the problem with being too pocket centric. Since Janabek is going to know that this guy's right in front of him. Since Janabek is wearing body armor, I'm not saying he's blessed defensively, but he's defensively mindful. In other words, that head is tucked. He's coming in. While he's not bobbing and weaving, it's hard to find his head. Plus, he wants you to trade with him. Janabek is a head hunter. He's not a body puncher. He's waiting for the slightest crack in the door so he can throw his straight left. He hits harder than Mikhailovich, in my opinion. I think you have two likely outcomes. Either Mikhailovich is able to drop Janabek in front of an Australian crowd and is able to do enough where he gets the decision or a stoppage or Janabek is going to ice this guy. Now let's talk about the blueprint fight. It is the blueprint fight, believe it or not, against Janabek. It's in my favorites folder right now. You want to take a look at it. He fought a guy who's crafty, Denzel Bentley, right? Figure out the KG vets in the sport. Denzel Bentley is a KG vet. What I want you to do, John Abek comes out and looks good early. What I want you to do is to start that video at the 4 minute and 30 second mark. 
you'll see what works against John Beck. Right now, Bentley comes out. Bentley is hanging around the pocket, but you'll notice that he doesn't lean on a leg. Like Mikhailovich leans on his left. Right? Different sense of balance. You'll notice, too, that Bentley is able to lean back as Janabek is throwing shots. He's hanging around the pocket. Janabek's throwing shots. Bentley is rolling with the shots. He gets hit with some left hands. Survives them because as Janabek throws the punch, Bentley's leaning back. Bentley's also a master at sequencing. So, Janabek throws a shot. Bentley knows that's the time to throw shots to the body. Bentley is a master counterpuncher. He's very patient. He forces Janabek to work, and that fight goes 12 rounds. That's what it takes to go 12 rounds against Janabek. You're rolling with shots. You, you know, aren't too predictable. Your legs aren't tethered to the canvas. You're keeping him honest with counter punches. You're forcing him to throw punches. I don't believe Mikhailovich is as nimble in the pocket as Denzel Bentley. I believe ultimately he gets caught in this fight. But the fight's mispriced. A plus 750, folks, is more than twice what you got betting on Daniel Dubois, right? I believe the fight is mispriced. I also believe that Mikhailovich hasn't fought anyone as good as Janabek. I think Janabek's power is simply stunning. I think uh, Janabek, you know, particularly if you're going to be throwing left hooks to the body, right, given that Janabek is a great counterpuncher and hits with power, I think Janabek is going to make sure that this fight is fought at close quarters. In other words, he's going to use Mikhailovich's self-image of being alpha against him. Right, this is the Marvin Hagler mindset, right? Thomas Hearns comes in, is throwing all kind of power. Marvin Hagler does not run. Marvin Hagler is in the pocket firing back. He lures Hearns, who, of course, had height, had reach, had a great jab. He forces Hearns into a firefight. I believe that's going to be Janabek's game here, right? Understand, too. Janabek's defense is predetermined. This is the fighter who has figured out exactly how to stand to take away most of the angles that you're throwing. Right? So, the left hook to the body that Mikhailovich likes to throw, he's going to have a hard time throwing it legally since Janabek is going to be coming in at almost a 90 degree angle. In other words, if Janabek just turns his back a little bit, that left hook to the body from Mikhailovich is going to be hitting Janabek in the back. Right? So this is the advanced fighter who's going to take away the angles and then is going to take you out with a straight left. I expect Janabek to win the fight the way I'm betting it. Is Mikhailovich simply to win? Why? Because I'm getting a plus 750. Hedge with Janabek by stoppage. But I need for everyone here to understand the risk involved. If this fight goes the distance and the champion retains his title by decision, you lose it all. That's the risk I'm taking. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. To sum up, this is a battle between two guys who see themselves as alpha. Right? Neither guy 
sees themselves as beta enough to do what Denzel Bentley did against Janabek in a competitive 12-round fight. I'm expecting a stoppage. I'm taking advantage of the casino odds being offered. While I think Janabek wins, the minus 1600 is not worthwhile, so I'm shortening the odds considerably by taking him by stoppage. The other half of the bet makes itself the minus, excuse me, the plus 750. Bet a dollar to win $7.50 back, plus the return of your dollar is simply too high on a fighter as good as unbeaten Mikhailovic. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours. Thanks for stopping by.